Hi and welcome to another video. In this video, we will deploy a sample application to Cloud Run. Before jumping in to learning different features, we will first get a slight taste of how you know the Cloud Run console looks like, how we can deploy uh, our containers, and how does it look basically the entire workflow looks like. Uh, so yeah, so here I am in my Google Cloud console. If you don't have a Google Cloud account, uh, my friend has created a really nice video, uh, which I have linked in the description below. You can check that out and create your free Google account and uh, get the free $300 credits to evaluate different services. Uh, and once you're done with that, this is the console which you'll get. So this is the Google Cloud console. From the left menu, you can go to Cloud Run. I have Cloud Run service pinned here but you can scroll down further in the serverless section you will find cloud run right so go to cloud run and then you get two workload options services and jobs at as we discussed in the introduction video in this demo we will just take a look at services so hit create service <clears throat> now you have two options to get the container image you can either give the container you image url which we'll be using or you can set it up using cloud build so basically your code is in a repository it will constantly build an image and the newer versions of image will keep on getting deployed in this video we'll use a sample container so click test with a sample container and it will give you the google's public image which is a sort of a test image uh, then we will say service name is hello let it be uh, the region you can choose any region basically uh, i am choosing iowa because that comes by default but you can choose a location which is local to your region let me change it to delhi let's say right now it will ask for cpu allocation as we discussed there are two uh, cpu allocation model during request and always allocated by default it is during request we'll leave it th that way then auto scaling <clears throat> i will say minimum instances by minimum instances means if there is no serving traffic you can scale it down to zero if minimum instances is zero i'll keep it that way to basically control cost i will just say maximum instances is one because i'm not serving real traffic with this but in production you would want a higher number i will say allow all traffic uh, right now i will allow all traffic you have different uh, options you can allow traffic from load balancers you can allow traffic from internal services uh, I will also allow unauthenticated uh, invocations because why not? Uh, because right now authentication is not set up. So we will discuss that separately and then hit create. <clears throat> Nothing else. There are a lot many options here which you can choose from like environment variables, so on and so forth. But we are not discussing that as of yet. We will discuss them gradually as we move uh, in the course. So here it has started deploying, it is setting up the IAM policy, it will create the revision, for the versioning and then routing traffic part basically. So this is all what we have discussed already. So here my service is deployed and I will go to the URL which it gives me and I'll paste it here and boom, you know, it it's running. See how simple it was uh, to deploy a container and similarly you can bring in any container that you wish and it should work uh, and it should work like this basically now there are a few things which i would like to bring to your notice so here at the in the bottom panel you can see a lot of tabs so here are the metrics for your service a lot of metrics are you know captured by default request counts request latencies container instances cpu utilization available con container instances so on and so forth Right. Similarly, logs are also integrated. So you can see the logs of your services here by default. Right now we have just sent one request. I'm not sure where the logs will come up, but yeah, they are there. Uh, the deployment logs are also there. And you have a lot of details that in which region it is deployed, what's the URL, what's the last version deployed. You can also turn on binary authentication as well. There are a lot of triggers as well. Right now the trigger is web traffic right now right but you can add event arc triggers you can add more triggers if you want so that's how it was so easy to deploy this particular service and here is the yaml which is basically getting uh, used in the background to deploy this service so you will 
if you look at it it will sort of look like uh kubernetes yaml and surely it surely cloud run uses k native underneath to deploy uh the services here you have all the different revisions so right now there is only one revision deployed and 100% traffic is being redirected to this particular version you can also you if you had multiple revisions uh you could split traffic between them or you could migrate entire traffic to the newer version so on and so forth as we discussed and we will take a hands on look uh, in the particular video when when we come to that so here you see how easy was it to deploy a particular container in cloud run if you like the content please like this video and consider subscribing and commenting to make youtube algorithm happy and i'll see you guys in the next video